guys here's madame okay welcome to my channel and thank you so much for being a part of it if you enjoy watching the videos please 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 don't forget to subscribe as well as to hit the like button thank you so much and see you soon bye Hello guys, here's Madame OK and today we will be working on the copy of one of Aframo's paintings using palette knives, those strange ones that I have here, uh, and of course pencil to make sure that we can create the sketch. Um, our medium will be uh, acrylics, uh, however I encourage you to use oils for the richness of the colors. So let us start with the sketch part and for that purpose I put the image on the side and with the pencil I will create a very very much basic drawing. So I think that the back part it should be not higher than here. Now we have another part of the part coming a little bit more towards the front and I will start with it. See, like this, this part is quite white here, just leaving it like this and then the back of the other one, okay, like this. So it has to be narrower because this is in front of us, this part, and this is going back so it's always a little bit smaller. We will have numbers of trees coming here in the front but I'm not worried about them yet because those will be later drawn. I'm rather concentrating on the combinations of the colors that you can see here and I definitely see lots of lots of pinkish color, blue, orange, see and this is an important part for me here too because I see kind of bushes in the front, those, those reddish colors here definitely pinkish reddish here and then a little bit of the purple that should be enough for me of information remember that all those lines will disappear under heavy paint application so we start with palette knife and I would use believe me or not something what you can find in Home Depot I will treat it as my palette knife so I have to get some white and I will mix my colors on the styrofoam plate that will be my blue and I want to use a cool blue. You can see here I have different ones. This is Taylor, this is Desert um, Ultramarine Blue. So that's, you can see right away the color is quite, quite cool. Blues are cool in general, but I do need to have a blue that is really, or maybe I put a little bit of my Ultramarine into it. I need to have a color, the blue with more kind of like looking almost greenish. So I will start with thin application of the paint on the pot, and that will be just the first layer. Okay, I don't need to be super precise. Notice that I use the um, masking tape to secure the position of my board, I mean paper, sorry, to the surface of the table. A little bit of it will come here as well. I certainly um, move to the other parts where I see my blue and I bring in this base blue a little bit of ultramarine. The other parts and certainly in the section of the pot. You see, so here we will have the pink color, but we also have this darker. Well, not really darker, we just have the blue color in this section. So it's a nice play of colors, of cool and warm colors against each other and making this painting looking more, like more interesting. That's one of the tricks that you use as a painter. You play with the temperature of the colors, right? See, and then still a little bit more, maybe a tiny bit of blue and then we will be moving to right away to the other colors so now I see and believe me or not I will use a little bit of the green and black and I place those colors there where I have my blue because green comes from mixing of, of blue and yellow so I can help myself right away without I just don't like to waste the, the paint and I use whatever I have and I definitely come with this color on the side here and then notice not very heavily because I want to have the red coming on top of it and the green picking up through it looks it almost looking like there would be the branches see I'm still looking where I can have a little bit on the top that will not harm my painting see I'm looking at the part here notice this heavy heavy spatula useful 
some works around the house will be okay too. It's kind of palette like. See, so the color slowly start changing. I make sure, notice my strokes. I make sure that I don't take over too much, that I can still see the blue, very important to me. Here and then later. So I'm going to come now with my skinny palette knives, believe me or not. And those skinny palette knives are those crazy sticks that I have here. Now, um, I will be looking at colors such as pink. So you see I have those different colors here, but I will start with a darker red. And my darker red will come, notice I'm just dabbing. Sometimes I can do half myself with a little bit more yellow in it because I want to have the color a little bit heavier. See? Yeah. And then going. Certainly, even, even in this section, I see some of the yellow. So I can switch a little bit the colors. That will be my paint application. Very much. See? So I want to, I don't want that necessarily the color will blend into the blue because I don't want to get a purplish color. That's not my intention. I'm just watching, it's like a foliage. See, maybe even coming with a little bit more of the pink here. See, in the pink, what would be important that the pink will get into the whitish pink. So it will be quite a bit of colors, but we need this darker color for sure first. So right now you will say, hmm, I just made sure that I block some spaces, but it doesn't mean that they are perfectly done yet. They will be later on, not on the stitch. And I know about it, and I don't judge myself. You see, that's super, super important for you, that you think this way. Okay, like this, going here, showing a little bit blue through. So it's coming, coming, coming. The same in this section. So we said we put so much of this darker color. Well, there's a purpose for it, okay? Because now we are coming on the top with some of the red and you want in some places that the color will be visible, right? Like this. Okay, see here, I have to decide what will happen here. And I can certainly see that the color start changing See, I can bring some yellow into them, especially in this section on the top. And then I also see some yellows. It's okay, that's good. There's also another stroke here. And then I, you know what? I want to introduce some yellows now before I will go back and do some changes. So I'm going now with, like you see, it's a little bit of pink on the path. I see it receding back, so I definitely need to bring the color there a little bit more. See, it's almost traveling there. So I'm, I'm very watchful. I'm very looking at what's going on in my painting, right? So those things I have to bring because they will make the painting looking um, interesting. The artist. And the artists use this particular trick to, to use, uh, to create this beautiful depth. And I definitely will bring it after him into my painting. See? Yeah. Like this. This is going here inside. And then this color also loses the sharpness. So you see when I blend it a little bit with some other colors, right away it will be better. Like that. Okay. So I'm a little bit printing this color. There, so it's almost like a mist here. There are two separate parts. See that this is on the top. You see that already it's achieved with it. Fantastic, sorry. And then I like to bring in some places even this color. Yeah, so this way you can see we show that um, there are the leaves on the ground. It's not like a flat positioning. See, yeah, like this. And then some of those nice leaves come here. I won't even change a little bit the colors for my own purpose. I'm moving to some other sections. And I will this time use a little bit of purple that I mix with my blue. See, and I will use this color. Or maybe I need some of the lighter blue as well. And then some of the purple. Still very, very powerful color. 
so I'm using more of it here and I will use this combination just here Oop, mix this with the other colors a lot okay and then I can bring some light on this section uh, I'm looking here what's what has happened and I see that the trees have to be there but I don't like so much the color so I'm slightly blended with my uh, blue color so it still stays green but it will look different let me see and I also move this color here a little bit more down in some sections see and then this has to somehow come together so I'm looking at those changes and I want to have fun now I'm looking what is happening there and I decide that I also have to bring some colors over there and I want to bring the happy colors. So this little bit of blue, the happy colors. When I talk about happy colors, I talk about this pink that is so powerful and looks so beautiful. You see, but it has to be a little bit mixed. So it loses the brightness as such. It's still very happy, but can be too sharp. See, and then definitely we come with it here. So we think about the strategy, how to make it that it looks a forkless and how it looks that it really is there. And we just manipulate with positioning of everything. See this event here, we need some blue later on, but we are not rushing. Okay, see, so we have to show what is in front, what is in the back. And I need to get more red on it. And I use this different red, but I decided to put this one just to brighten it. See, and then I will bring the other one. So I'm bringing this color now here. It's just a permanent rose, you call this color. Because it, Alidarin Crimson will not do it. You have to have a pink color or the color that will make pretty pink. And this is certainly um, the permanent rose. Quanacradon Red would be another option. See, so you have to know a little bit about the colors that you use because those colors will cert certainly affect the look of your painting. Or not, the trees very soon have to come. This one will be okay. There's a little bit darker section here between. And I will put it right away using green and blue together. You see, almost like bringing the trees. So I'm using, um, I don't want to use black. I use blue and green, a mixture, you see? I mix this with that color. And I will now go for some of those trees. Okay, so you see, using the same, this crazy palette knife. Okay. The trees are, should be not perfectly straight, all of them, because they have character, each of them, right? So you see, I'm just moving through like this. like this and then I put the blue on it a little bit more fantastic you see and then we have this impression of the trees here in the back and then it's blue around that we still have to strengthen see a little bit of it's coming here like this wow this and then it's getting darker in those sections right and I don't want to have it darker just with black so I'm moving towards using the blue here, like this, you see, and then like this, and then the red has to come back. Okay, so you can see how many different colors you already have here, whoa. Black is okay, it just can't be too much of it. Now, I also think that the yellow ochre will come in some places here on this bush, which we have because not necessarily we have to have black. And I also think, you see, that will actually work very well here yeah, as a part. Definitely those colors have to still be worked out, but yellow is here. And let us go back to the trees here. Just a little bit more. We can at certain point almost scratch them into the surface. down we will skin down it's a time I have my yellows here 
and I will look at this since I have this part ready. So I'm thinking about applying some strokes, helping me. Let's see, develop this tree. I also have this green, and I think that will also help. See, a little bit. Since I have it, then why not to use it here to our advantage, right? Like you see, like this. This is big, so I can make it smaller. But I'm looking at what is important to me to create the harmony of the colors in my painting. So I like the color here. I don't want to have it everywhere in the same amount, but I certainly can apply it here and there. So I take white, whitish blue, and go with it, see, just to brighten some sections. And then I bring the whitish pink. Okay, so I have my white and then I, I just need more of it. And then I mix it with just a little bit, notice, just a little bit of pink. And then I will go with it there where I see the pink. And if I have to clean up the brush, I certainly will do it because remember, the lighter the color, the faster it will get contaminated, right? So you see, changing the directions, making mess, but the artistic mess, I call it. Okay. If I have to go back, see, it's easy peasy, I can apply the colors, but I do want to have richness here. I want to show those transitions, Still a little bit to work here. Oh, and also notice in those sections, we also need to have brighter, the full strength pink. I also will apply a little bit of the black here. See, a little bit more emphasizing. And then here, I'm coming back to strength the things. Only now, notice, only there where I want to have it stronger, right? So you see. We have this section with the blue there. And to be honest with you, I think that we have to still come with some of the blue mixed. And we need to bring it over there. A tiny bit more emphasizing the bottom part. See the same here, a little bit more. So we have all those colors, beautiful colors. Yeah. So we create this nice, interesting effect of movement. See, this could be the space, the green can be broken with some of the blue. And the same here, that's not enough paint. Oh my goodness, we don't have enough paint in this section. So I'm bringing some mixture of blue and a little bit of green and white. See, and that's what I will be applying back this, there. So my idea will be to bring those different blues that I have, see and make it more colorful. Wow. See, so we constantly change, wow. Okay, this is for sure too heavy, but even there we have to come with blue, like creating underneath the base, and I think this will be okay here too. Um, I still have to bring some other colors in this section and definitely more yellow. I want to bring the section here as well with the blue that we can see through. This is quite nice just to create the base. Right, so on those trunks, I think we have to bring some of the brown color. Okay. Oop. So much paint. You see, those palette knives are not really working well for me. I have to really scratch and do so much. Oh la la. Then rather I will bring this color on them. Okay. So I still have to go back and bring some of those trees coming through. Okay. Then what is happening with my tree here? I need to have it, and there is some red as well. You see, so we are almost done almost not yet coming through and I want to bring this here through okay so now the pink and then I will have the lighter version back okay so 
still pink has to come. Where is our pink? Oh, definitely has to come here. See, it's almost like um, behind the trees. So we have to create the trees back. The sum of the yellow will be coming here. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then let's see. We have to bring some yellow. Okay, then I have to still look. Okay, this looks good. We have this lovely pink here. Let me see, but I still need more of it coming through some of those trees like this, you see? Because that will help us and again shape them better. Mm -hmm. I'm looking here, I'm still looking for this yellow. Where should I apply it? Because we have some sections of this yellow color that we have to bring here and there. So now I just have to refine some of those trunks and I use blue and green. So this trunk is okay. That should be just the impression, but on the bottom is important that we really see what it is. Okay, so I'm using a tiny bit of black here. I'm looking here at the path and I'm thinking if I should include a little bit, you see this is not necessary here, so I'm going for my little bit muddy color here and getting the path here back and then a little bit more of the pink. So you see here, this is, this is nice, but not exactly this color that is there. So I'm going with again some white ultramarine blue see like this and then trying to bring this color back darker 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 with some white mixed with a little bit of white see bringing those colors into it. I'm also showing that the pink is on the ground. Yeah, like this, see? The pink will be on the ground. And then this beautiful blue, let me see, which one? I like still this blue. We will get it here, it's a different one, but it's okay. So we will just go with it. I'm still looking at the top. If we should get a darker color, what do you think? Oh, we are okay. Maybe a little bit of the green. I think the top. You see one, another one here. One, another one, another one here. We still have to put the black through. So guys, I hope that you enjoyed working on this painting with me and now you are ready to work on your own. You see, I never can finish. Never, never, never. Okay, so have a good time, guys. And work on your own. Have a good day. Bye. Bye.